Hey y'all, it's your girl, the internet hoe, Johnny! Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited today because you guys are gonna be so shook that it's a drugstore. I mean, just reading by the title, you already know what video I'm gonna make. So today, I'm coming at you guys with a review, not just only with one foundation, but two foundation. Of course, the brand new Maybelline Super Stay Matte full coverage. I've actually seen so many reviews of Filipino vloggers have done this and you know, I want to be some I want to be different, you know. I know this is not available yet, but the fact that I'm doing a comparison with this and also it's going to be like a slash review on this. We're going to keep things interesting. We're going to keep things fresh, okay? Because it's what my viewers deserve. Y'all deserve the new things in life. And yeah, in case if you guys are new to my channel, of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification button because girl you gotta be notified, okay? If you're not notified, then, girl, you are living a sad life, okay? You need to get your internet fixed, you need to call Globe, you need to call any, whatever is your telecom, and get it fixed, okay? So I left my social media links up here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, tweet me on Twitter, and yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the review, okay? Like, Jodri, can you just shut up and just like talk about the foundations already? Okay, okay, hold on, girl. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, let's begin, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm back. You guys are wondering why am I wearing makeup already? First, I want to talk about these two products right now and their prices, their consistencies. And I'm going to be doing the wear test after this and then just me basically demonstrating the product. But I actually want to talk about this real quick. I've seen so many vloggers did a review on this. I mentioned this already a while ago. I haven't seen anybody had did a review on this here, especially here in the weather in the Philippines. I've gotten so many requests from you guys to do a review on the Fit Me Foundation and... Um, I mean, I wanted to do it, but there's so many vloggers already out there, so I don't want to be like, you know, like a cookie cutter. I don't want to keep my content boring. I want, you know, I want substance. I want the new stuff, girl. We want the new stuff, okay? This one, you guys, is not available yet, so, so far, I'm pretty sure that I have viewers out there that has access to international makeups, or they have relatives abroad, so if you got, I'm pretty sure they can have easy access to this. This is just, you can buy this in like CVS or drugstore. I don't know what drugstores is in there. Walgreens. I don't know, girl. I'm not in America. <laughs> Mga influencers kayo. Parang you have by watching me, you have access to products that's not available here in the Philippines. Di ba minsan may mga ibang products dito sa Pinas na hindi pa available. Pinapadala mo na sa mga influencers. So don't worry, girl. I got you back. I'm there in 2018, we're in 2030, girl. Don't worry, girl. I got you. I got you, girl. girl. Para alam mo yung feeling tipong ano. Pag may, may makita kang ibang vlogger na nag-review neto, you'll be like, Oh, alam ko na yan. Um, napanood ko kay Janre kasi ano, um, nakita ko na yan matagal. Diba? Instant cool points ka na dun, girl, diba? So I just want to talk about the product real quick in terms of price, packaging, and everything in comparison with the outer... Uh, not that it matters the most, but there are some... I have some viewers here are so, so meticulous when it comes to packaging i'm just describing myself girl so this is the packaging it's glass very luxurious the thing is what i don't like about this is there's no pump it's like you have to pour it out and this is very liquidy and runny so i i, I tend to pour this a lot i got this for 299 pesos usually or no yeah i got this for 299 pesos because i got it on sale i'm pretty much sure i can remember this one's on sale and usually this retails for 399 pesos and yeah, Maybelline, I am the shade 330. It's like the right amount of neutral. We're gonna swatch her right here, curl. It's like very, you know, liquidy, very soft, very velvety. I love the consistency of this foundation because it just feels so good in the skin. It's a little bit greasy, but when you set it with powder, it does the job. But I don't think, I don't think in my standards because girl, I'm not oily. I'm sweaty. You can see in the wear test, I'll show you how sweaty I am, girl. Like, oh my God, nakakaloka talaga. Like, parang yung sweat ko, Maria Cristina Falls best. We have here the um, 
super stay full coverage Maybelline and oh my god it's so full coverage that I got and you know what by the way just a spoiler alert I'm wearing it right now because I love it so much the fit me matte poreless she's mo I wouldn't say it's matte it's not super matte it's like it leaves your skin very healthy and very dewy like you have this gloss it's not very oily but it has the sheen like like you've drank eight glasses of water you've drank you know she slept eight hours you got rid of toxic friends something like that Th that kind of vibe <laughs> and then this one this is a super steam matte we are gonna swatch her here she's very thick like look girl look at that coverage oh my god oh so dope so this is a fit me we'll compare her side by side to fit me and by the way guys shocking news she has a pump which I, this is one thing I like the most that there's a pump and I just love foundations with pump because it's more sanitary So you can see right off the bat This one, this is the super stay This is the super stay and then this is the fit me You can already see right off the bat the coverage of the super stay Oh my god, it looks light at first but this one oxidizes to my skin color and it's amazing But the fit me right off the bat already, that's my skin color in a bottle But she oxidizes a little bit like the right amount of oxidation just like the super stay but super stay they oxidize real crazy this one retails for such an affordable price but since of course i have to pay taxes i have to pay shipping i have to pay you know merienda i have to pay service charge shout out to all that shebang so this came to a whopping 900 908 pesos i think if i could remember yeah she's more on the pricier side but i'm pretty sure if this comes to the philippines she would be around 600 to 300 pesos i just hope so or maybe 299 i just hope so she's gonna be more affordable just like this you better be cheap like her okay girl so also the shade this is also the same this is i'm in maybelline i'm always 330 so in case if you want if you guys are interested in buying this and you have my skin color i'm in the shade 330 i'm chit chattering and let's get into the wear test and the demo and how i did my makeup so yeah let's go and time travel uh, time travel tayo fresh from the bag don't lie to me at some point in your life you use that phrase like fresh from the bat or yung status mo sa FB nung high school ka fresh from the bat ang sarap talaga maligo fresh from the bat so for my right side I'll be using the uh, Maybelline Super Stay Matte and on the left side we are gonna be using the um fit me so here you go this is on the left side this is on the right side to the no well this is your left and this is my left <laughs> So this is the right side and the left side. Oh my god. Kiski. Alam yung grabi kayo ha. There's this one thread sa ano. There's this one thread sa Twitter. Nakita ko parang buti pa si John Ray. Kasi shady foundation. Hindi ko tulad ng iba John Gray. Grabi kayo. Ang savage yun. Nakakaloka. Hindi ko kinaya yun. So anyways. So let's get our beauty blender and um. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because don't you find it so annoying just when you're about to do your foundation and hindi mo pa nabasa yung beauty blender mo. So, <laughs> um, be right back. We'll dampen this. Hold up, girl. All right, you guys. So I'm back. We are gonna try the foundation. I won't be using any primers so that we can really test out which would stay the longest and which is much better. So. That's how we can really test a foundation because if you're gonna use primer, I mean, what's the point if you're testing longevity? I mean, girl, wh why would you use a primer if you're trying to test it out? You know what I mean? So, oh my god, that's a good match. Love it. Let's see, huh? So I just dot the foundation here and we're gonna blend her out. Oh my god, wow. Girl! See, totoo nga ang chismis! Wow, oh my god. Wow, that's covered. Usually when I put foundation here, I have like a discoloration here. It's covered. Oh my god. Thank you po talaga. Ito na ba yung solution ko na matatakpan ko yung mga, matatakpan ko yung mga heartbreaks ko? Matatakpan ko na po ba yung mga utang ko? Matatakpan ko na po ba yung mga haters ko dyan? Shoutout sa mga puta. You know, haters come. Wow, that's a pretty coverage. Whoa. No, that's full coverage. Actually, I can still see a little bit of blemish, but let's try putting two layers of foundation. I don't want to wear a lot of layer of foundation because girls here in the Philippines sobrang init talaga. Like, 
can you believe it when I was reviewing the lustrous palette like sobrang pinawisan ako ng pet malung pet malu na kakaloka best grabe like Oh my god. Put down below what foundation uh, brand you want me to try. Kasi I will find my our shade. Para kung baga ako na lang gagastos, hindi na lang kayo po. Wow, girl. <laughs> to na. Alinis na mukha ko, best Foundation girl. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I just put the super stay all over my face and not compare this? Um, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just, I'm actually gonna use the fit me on my right side, on my left side, but you're right, so yeah. All right, okay. So I just applied the fit me on my left side, and by the way, just comparing on how they apply on my face, you know what? I would give one point to fit me. The super stay, this is too, it's kind of thick. It's not a bad thing, depending on how you like your foundation. Um, it's kind of thick, so when you blend it out, you have to be very, very, um, it's not that it's hard to blend, quote-unquote, no, it's not, it's not hard to, it's really easy to blend, but I mean, it's so thick that you have to put a little more pressure, whereas this one, it's just so liquidy, liquidy, I made, <laughs> this one is just so watery that when you're blending it, it's like, it's like the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation where it's just so soft it's very silky this one feels so lightweight like i don't feel like i'm wearing makeup on this side whereas the fit me i feel like there's a little bit of grease because i don't know for some weird reason they claim this to be like normal to oily skin but for someone who's oily like me i sweat like a pig she's she's kind of greasy just that's just my opinion because i sweat so bad like you can see countless of my videos i'm sweating in my videos because of these studio lights it's burning my face so i need to invest in a small aircon on the side so when i'm filming i can cool down so anyways um in terms of like the weight of the foundation i like the super stay much better than the fit me and in terms of blending and application wise if you're in a rush type of thing I like the fit me because it applied so fast this one it took me a while to like put the foundation on but in coverage wise you know what girl I'm not gonna lie I like this better oh my god I, I should have put this I should have put the super C you can still see some you can see over here on the fit me there's still some blemish uh, peeking through with two I would say two layers of foundation already you can still see some blemish here this one it's covered like she covered my <laughs> She covered my ex, honey, okay? Like, girl, she is glowing. She got rid of toxic people vibes. No tea, no shade. Eh. In this clip, you can clearly see my nose and my forehead is like sweating, but um, this is usually what happens to my face when I don't put primer on my foundation for my oily skin. And at this time, my air condition was like broken so it was like burning hot like i swear these studio lights are like freaking cooking my face so yeah in future videos you won't see me sweating because i got my ac fixed so someone gonna go call me jan in your face <clears throat> let's get into doing my makeup i'll be right back so yeah all right so i'm done with my makeup just very light very simple nothing special what I'm on special occasion. I just want to go out and look fresh. Wait, on my lips, if you guys are wondering, I'm wearing the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's non-problematic. I also even have a review on this. I, I'll put it here and also on the link down below. You guys can check it out. This lipstick is just so unproblematic. Like, alam mo para hindi kanya bubuisitin katulad na ex mo. By the way, comment down below if you guys are interested in getting uh, a tutorial on this look. Just a simple everyday look. This makeup look is basically one of my days if I just want to look cute, fr fresh lang. I just want to look okay, you know, Not socially acceptable, okay? It's already like 10.50 and I'll do a time check in like 4 hours or 3 hours. Let's see how which foundation would wear off. So yeah, I'm actually also going to do my hair and we'll... And I'll get back to you guys, okay? For the check-ins. Okay, time check. It's been an hour and a half since I had the foundation on. By the way, guys, I'm chica din ako. Kasi, girl, I tried my best to not grab. Like, to grab because it's so hot. Even though it's like cloudy here right now in the Philippines, it's so hot And then I was like, girl, I'm tricycle. But I was like, I'm going to go tricycle because it's so hot. And dami pa sa hero, pero I was sweating, like I was sweating balls, like talaga dripping sweat. Pero 12, look at my foundation, it's still on. This is the Super Stay Matte and this is Fit Me. And 
I'm going to the cinema. Let's check kung ano mga movies na pwede pa naonin. Gusto mag-scene ngayon. Let's see kung bongga mga movies ngayon, girl. So, ayun nga. Medyo fail kasi I was supposed to watch a movie just to kill some time kasi meron din ako hinihintay na lakad at 3pm pero I just ate and I don't know what to do para just to kill some time. I don't even I'm not in the mood to go shopping or buy anything. Baka siguro I'll just like you know, uh, browse on the internet for like two hours at Starbucks. I don't know. I... I just I just feel bored. I was supposed to like watch a movie, pero hindi ko talaga trip yung mga movies. Eh, yung kadi magsayon ng pera. Like, don't you get it? Like, I don't want to waste money just you know for a movie that I just want to kill some time. So I'm just gonna chill on the Starbucks, wait for two hours, and maybe that's it. Cause I'm I'm just gonna give someone a package. So yeah. Okay, guys. So checking in. It's like I don't know what time is it. It's like two. No, no, no. So just checking in with you guys, it's 2.19. I was actually supposed to do this outside for the daylight, kita kita ni skin. Uh, but this light is okay. So far, this one, it looks so fresh pa din. Like, the Super Safe looks so flawless. I don't see any cracks here. I see some oil, pero if you just like blot it and put... Wait, I'm gonna actually blot it for you guys. If you just like blot it, See, okay na rin siya, you know? You just like blot it and put powder on top, it's fine. I don't see uh, any foundation deteriorating. My foundation is still okay here. But for the Fit Me side, like, you can see some of my darkness coming through here. This it, this one still looks brighter. And you can still see it's flawless. This one, you can see some darkness peeking through. And look, it's already like cracking. This one, it's still, it's still intact. I don't see any cracks. And this pimple is showing already. It's still there, but it's not. It, the coverage is like slightly fading away. It feels a little bit greasy. This one, it doesn't feel greasy. This one feels a bit heavy in the face. So, so far, Stay Mat is winning. I'm also gonna do a check in in a bit, just on good lighting. If I'm sounding kind of weird and kind of like quiet, I don't wanna make a noise, I don't wanna be. I don't want the people here in Starbucks to be like, uh, she's such a weirdo. And by the way, um, I was my went off. Um, I actually to my to Starbucks, but I didn't buy anything. I just buy a Vita Coco, and yeah, that's all I bought because I don't want to spend any money on overpriced beverages. Dip it dips. <laughs> Anyways, I'll do a check in later. See you guys. Okay, so I just got home and oh my god, look how oily I am. But you can see, though I'm still oily, you can still see the foundation is still there. So super stay. You sa fit me na man, medyo nag fade me foundation ko dito banda. You can see my, see? You can see my blemishes, my discoloration, kita mo yung pimple. And then it's very, very, very sticky. This one, it still feels mad. Though there's sweat, but it's not that sticky. Just like the Fit Me. Um, I'm not sure if I should retouch, but just para makita natin kung gaano ka yung foundation, huwag na tayo mag-retouch. Baka siguro mamaya na lang 8 p.m. When I come back to the HD camera, doon na lang ako mag-retouch on cam. Pero let's just leave it like this. I know I am struggling. It's really hot. It's like, nahuhula siya. Pero, tinan mo, oh, you can see this difference versus this. Oh, look. Oh, you can see there's like a patch of hulas na dito. Like, this is the foundation, then uh, empty. No foundation. This one, it's like, oh my god. So good. And this one is getting slightly cakey, and this one is just like, just chilling. Alright, you guys. So, I'm back, and I just changed into my comfy clothes, and I just tied my hair back. And, um, it's already 6.15. And um, so this is the state of my face. And like I've said, this is the Super Stay Matte side. And then this is the Fit Me side. And oh my gosh, I look so oily and so grimy. I'm just going to blot off the oil off my face. You can see still here the coverage is still good. This one, oh my god. It's so cakey. And this one like faded off my face. 
This one is still intact. Let's actually, before we judge it, let's touch up a little bit. Okay, so I just touch up my face with a little bit of powder just so you can see clearly without the shine. And as you can see, you can see the Super Stay Matte held much better compared to this one. This one, oh my god. Subusuko da siya, best! Nakakaloka! This one, oh, lumalaban pati! In terms of longevity, I used to think that this is so good for long lasting, but this one doesn't last that long. Unless if you have a good primer or a good setting spray or if you bake like crazy. This is so good, but so far, if you're just like the type of person who likes to put foundation and set it with powder real quick without primer, or if you ran out of primer, or if you have primer, so far, Super Stay Matte is much better than the Fit Me. Fight me, okay? So yeah, that's the wear test, and I'll get back to you guys with my thoughts. I'm back, and oh my god, I'm so I'm actually low-key embarrassed that I showed my face like that on the internet. Uh, that's how you know if the foundation is good, because I have sweaty skin, like crazy sweaty skin. Like you saw my forehead, it's like s dripping sweat. And then my T-zone is like... Pfft. Makeup is not always perfect. Your skin itself is not always perfect, okay? You get days that you will sweat like a pig, so that's normal, okay? I mean, pigs don't sweat, okay? I mean, it's normal, guys, okay? So don't be embarrassed. I I just feel a bit embarrassed, but if you if this video ever makes you feel better about yourself, that you sweat a lot, oh my god, don't worry. I'm here. I sweat like crazy so yeah here are my thoughts about the foundation so for the fit me i to have a seamless finish which i agree because this one really matches my skin and it almost looks like skin so if you're that type of person who wants to have that natural look with like a medium coverage just she is a good foundation for you she's not the most full coverage she's more of like a light to medium coverage i wouldn't say this is full coverage because whenever i layer this makeup on if it covers my dark spots and my dark uneven skin tone it gets to be very cakey so i would say this is light to medium and in terms of long lasting i would say it's much better to use this if you're the type of person who works in an office or who works in somewhere that's you know fully air conditioned because she cannot stand humidity humidity is and her is not friends okay humidity is cancelled she is not friends with humidity okay humidity is a bitch okay claim this is for normal to oily skin i i don't know man this is just a sweat resistant product she can last not the longest but you have to take care of your face which I, I oh my god I rarely take care of my makeup like I'm the type of person I don't want to be bothered when I have my makeup on can you just not bother me maalaga ka sa makeup mo I would say go for it this is nice for you I would recommend this more to dry skin as opposed to oily skin because she has a little bit of grease so comment nga down below if you guys feel this way with this foundation. So for oily people, I would recommend you use a good primer. I'm really biased when it comes to this one because this did the job like, oh my god. So with both of them, you all know I would recommend this more. So yeah. So this one, oh girl, I don't know if I can mention any cons with this product. Mm. Uh, okay, well, my, my expectations when it comes to foundation are very simple. You know, I want full coverage. You know, I want this foundation to be easy to blend. I want this to cover my dark circles, my dark spots, my uneven skin tone, you know, my criminal record, my, you know, my dabs or something, my college loans, you know. Girl, with this foundation, she covered it so well. The Super Stay Lipstick, I can't feel like I have foundation on my face and it resists the sweat. It's like so comfortable on the skin. I don't need to touch up. I can just like take a tissue and just blot my face, call it a day. And I just love it. Okay, so she is long lasting. She's not, she's matte, but yet she's not dry on the skin, which is insane. So for my dry friends out there, my oily friends, you guys are gonna love this. I would totally recommend this. And this one's approved, this one's approved. They're both approved. Both of the products, they're both good foundations without a doubt. They did the job, but I have two foundations before me, but only one can be the next top foundation for oily skin right now and i am gonna choose the super stay matte girl oh my god so i'm pretty sure i'm so sad though that this isn't available in the philippines hey maybelline excuse me maybelline philippines i'm doing you i'm doing you guys a favor okay so you better bring this product right now to the philippines because we filipinos 
oily skin need it right now okay so all right so that concludes our video to this review slash wear test and and comparison of the two foundations from maybelline the fit me and the super stay matte i hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that thumbs up girl come on show me some love thank you guys so much for always supporting me comment down below just comment down queen if you reach this part of the video <laughs> and also make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification button and of course stay fabulous my mother hoes okay bye guys and i love you see you guys in my next video Mwah.